Hey guys, how are you? So, um, yeah, sorry for the bad quality of the video. I don't have daylight at the moment. And, well, as you know, I'm not a professional in any of this. So, the lighting sucks. It's a tiny little desk lamp that is lighting me right now. So, sorry about that. But then again, who cares, right? It's not really about the images, but the stuff I'm saying, hopefully. And what I was going to talk to you about tonight is um, how fears can affect our lives because I was um, having a bath a few days ago and I was sitting there and I tried to relax I tried to consciously relax you know just letting all my anxiety go letting all my worries go and relaxing my body and at that moment I realized that I am hearing my heartbeat I can hear it in my left ear and it just kept, keeps going and going and going, which is a good sign, I suppose, because as long as I'm hearing my heartbeat, it means I'm alive, right? But it's not normal. I don't usually hear my heartbeat. And it got me to focus on my heartbeat and on my heart itself. And that made me very uncomfortable and very anxious. See, I have this very deep fear that happened a long time ago as a child even, and it's this fear that at some point my heart is just going to stop and for no reason. And whenever I have that fear, it just, it feels like a constricting feeling, you know, just and as, it, as an anxiety does. But if that is your anxiety, then of course that's going to get worse and worse and worse. And you, you can control it just by logical thinking like, okay, I'm young, there's nothing wrong with my heart, I can actually... I put two fingers to my jocular and just listen and count the heartbeats in the minute and realize that actually my heartbeat is incredibly calm and slow and that there's nothing I should worry about. So I can usually calm myself down enough, but sitting there in the bathtub trying to relax and having the exact opposite happens happening to me was pretty weird. So I decided at that point to pretty much face it head on and to just just figure out what happens so I put my head under the water to really just get into the sound of my heartbeat you know and just hear it and feel what it does to me and it's not pleasant I can tell you that but I just put my ears on the water and realize that to me it's a sign of mortality hearing my heartbeat is like I guess maybe at the point of dying, the last thing you hear might be your own heartbeat. Whenever you're really stressed, you can feel your heartbeat, hear your heartbeat, you know. So I guess to me, being aware of my heart beating is linked to danger or peril or mortal danger even. And that's, that's what it is to me. It's a sign of danger or fear. But in reality, there's more ways to look at it, because in reality, as long as I'm hearing my heartbeat, I know that I'm alive. So it's a sign of life. And in fact, it's a sign of my life. So I should be really grateful that I'm hearing it. And it's very steady. It's, it doesn't falter. There's no skipping beats. It's it's like it, it is like dancing to the beat of your own drum, as they say. So it is like my own little drum session that is just going on in my body and... And so I tried to look at it that way, and it was hard. I've still felt anxious. So then I thought, well, this same sound is the sound that my mum heard when she was listening to the sonogram when I was sitting in her belly. And to her it was the sound of hope, of life, of her future child. And so that makes my heart beat the sound of love and joy and dreams coming true and to realize that that can't be them and I realized okay so that is not a way to listen to my heart and to deal with that and I realized well my mum had hopes and dreams for me and I have hopes and dreams for me I know that I want to be a life coach I want to be a spiritual coach I want to Blossom as a light worker, you know, and I know all that. I'm thinking, so basically, 
I am being afraid of the sounds that once stood for all those dreams becoming a possibility and setting forth into the future. Why can't I look at it that way? And the more I realised that I thought myself, okay, this is the sound of the future, the sound of my dreams, the sound of my life, my possibilities, all the things I'm going to achieve and all the things I have achieved. It is the dreams and the hopes of my future. It is the sound of the body I chose before I was born. It is the sound of the life I live and the life I can live in the future. It is the sound of the love that my parents had for each other and for me and still do. It is the sound of so much incredible things and opportunities and possibilities. And just realizing that immediately transformed a very, very intense and basic fear that has been with me for a very long time into an actual source of love and comfort simply by readjusting the way I chose to see it. Because fact is, I'm hearing my heartbeat, the fact is, it is unnerving to me at that point. But the same hearing of that same heartbeat was also a joy to someone else a long time ago, someone who had great dreams for me. So to look at a fact from a different perspective can really, really make a difference. And this made a difference for this simple thing in life. Can you imagine what what it can mean if you learn to look at things that you thought were facts from a different factual standpoint and how much we can achieve in this world when we learn to do that? Just picture it. You know, and I I can't even begin to imagine because this is now just occurring to me at this point that everyone thinks they're right about things. Everyone thinks that, well, I have all the facts and and they are completely convinced that they are correct about whatever means most to them, right? But then someone with the exact same facts and a different point of view can be equally certain. So there must be something to it. So you can look at pretty much everything in life and look at it from a different point of view and completely transform that particular thing, but also yourself. So whenever someone tells me that they are a victim of fears or traumas or their life or anything negative, there is always a different way to look at it. So there's no such thing as being a victim. You are being a victim of your own mind. And there is no need, really. So there's something to think about. You can actually transform what you feel and what you think and what you see and what you sense and taste and smell and hear and everything. You can transform that by simply redefining it. So, yeah, I'd say uh, give that a go whenever you can. See if you can redefine something that is very specific and very defined in your life and see how you can look at it in a different way and redefine what it means to you. And I suggest you do it for the negative things and make them positive and not the other thing around or that will be a waste of time and precious energy and you can make the world a lot better if you do it the other way around. So just make sure you do it you know, in that way. You make sure that the bad things become good things not the other way around. But that's why I have am I speaking to. I mean, if, if, if you are looking at this, then you know all that. So... Well, that's just me rambling on about fears and transformation and stuff. So, it's a long video. Sorry for that. I guess I just needed to get it off my chest. I hope it can may help someone one day. And if not, at least I got it off my chest, right? Alright, thank you guys. Bye-bye.